Hi, this is Sandy Egan with Keller Williams Realty. We are talking today about our making our homes places that make us smile. If you are looking for a new home for you to make you smile, go ahead and click the link that says you'd like to search all area homes. We will go ahead and put together a personalized search just for you. And if you're thinking about selling, go ahead and click the box that says my, look for my home's value and we'll come over and give you our five step home review. Now, going back to talking about our homes. Hi, thanks for joining me today. In our winter time, we have a tendency to kind of hunker down. And one of the things that is really important to me when I'm helping my clients is I tell them, you need to find a place that's going to make you smile when you walk in the door every day. Especially in this time when it gets dark a little faster, we are tending to look more at the inside of our homes and finish things up. I'm a project person and one of the things that I love about my husband Don is that he also loves to do projects that will make us smile when we walk in the door and when we're staying in our home. Finishing up a couple of handy things I craft. So I, I just finished knitting a sweater for him and I'm almost done with making our quilt. Um, and so now that we are finishing up, I am finishing up with the bigger projects that I do during the winter time and spring is coming up, I'm starting to look outside. We actually just took a tree down in the backyard yesterday and I was so pleased because the new tree guy that I was talking to, I got his number on Wednesday, called him up. He called back Wednesday afternoon, sent me to his boss. I talked to his boss on Thursday. We set up the tree to come down yesterday. That would be Wednesday. And what do you know, now I'm ready to go ahead and put my fruit trees in. So Don and I went to the nursery, Sunnyside Nursery, just on the south end of Marysville here. They've got such a great selection and they really talk you through what each one looks like and uh, just the pluses and minuses of varieties and all of that and who needs to pollinate with whom and, and we had a good time. So we've got four trees set aside um, because we didn't want to bring them home and then not be able to get them in the ground right away. So we have four trees set aside so that this weekend we can go ahead and plant the pears and the apples and I think we got a plum tree as well. So little dwarf ones so that we won't have to take care of the mammoth trees and, and we'll be able to handle them because well, we don't want to spend the whole day out in the yard. We just like to tr trim it up, have great fruit, and enjoy the fruits of our labors. So we love to make our home our castle. And my castle looks a little different from your castle. In fact, my castle looks a little different from my husband's castle, but that's part of marriage and uh, cooperation and negotiation, right? So the thing that I love is that when I walk into my home, and I see the, the projects, the quilt projects, the um, scrapbooks, as well as the nice pretty home that I it just makes me go, ah, I feel good here. That's something that I enjoy because my home is an extension of me. I want it to show who I am. I want it to be full of, of personality and life and beauty and I can enjoy and appreciate the relationships of the people that I'm sharing that space with, with my husband, with our children, and with our friends when we come in, when they come in. And I'd say we entertain, we don't really entertain, we just have friends over. That's kind of how we roll. So if you are looking for a space that really makes you feel like home, that when you walk in the door, you get to smile and you get to go, oh, I am at peace here. I feel joy here. I would love to help you with that. If you are already in that home and you are either looking for ways to make it more like you or you found some great ways to make it look like you, I would love to hear about those. Can I help you with that? Or can I just appreciate what you have with you? And maybe you'll give me some more ideas as well on, on how to even spice up ours a little bit more. Thanks so much for joining us today. It's so important that I share who I am with you. I'm pretty much a what you see is what you get and I'd love to share what I have so that it can help you and vice versa. Thanks so much, have an awesome day. If there's something I can help you with with your home, go ahead and click that box, give me a call. I'm glad to be here to help. Have an awesome day. Thank you.